Doufám, že všichni rozumíte anglicky a budeme teda mít prezentaci. Já jenom uvedu na téma v podstatě jako sportovní psychologie, dá se říct příprava. It was preparing of top sportsmen in Paralympic Games. I think they, they understand. How much time I Please. How much time I uh, How much time Ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> 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 Ten minutes. 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 Ten My grandfather was half Czech, mm -hmm. and uh, half Czech, half Hungarian, and he was born in Bodoni, so it was always a great joy to get back to the roots and uh, to see this, maybe this beautiful area of the world. Uh, I'm going to speak then shortly about top sportsmen, and uh, this, is, this is a special topic really. Uh, last year I had a good uh, opportunity and chance to work with one, uh, one lady called uh, Eva Risto, maybe you heard about her. Uh, she's, uh, she won the London Olympics 10 km swimming, marathon, marathon swimming. And uh, this year with, uh, with a special Olympic uh, person, a tennis player, he is called uh, Gabor Mate, and uh, he won, he, he is deaf, he is deaf, and this deaf Olympics It, it is a special uh, uh, games and they have every four year Olympics and this year they had in Sofia in Bulgaria and uh, he also won this uh, competition with the tennis. So experience is what I have with such people who really great in their field but they were not so great field we didn't start with uh, practicing with yoga and some psychology and, and some support for them, some extra. Uh, basically, they, they were very good in their field. So, um, I saw for the first time, first uh, look, that uh, we don't have to make plus extra efforts. So, we didn't do any hard training video, but extra with their training, because already they are really prepared and in good condition and physically and everything. Uh, so we utilize one thing that they get balance and this balance it, it is the main main factor I think what, what we miss in sports uh, mainly as I see from my experience that uh, they are really training hard and, and uh, for long times so even decades already but uh, the main question is uh, how can we support this being in balance uh, so we started uh, with, with some light Uh, course of yoga with stretching exercises and uh, it was really good because uh, then muscles and, and uh, joints and they, they regenerate much quicker and better uh, and performance is it is not supported by sports psychology and and, uh, uh, and the medical research but uh, uh, subjective feeling is, is always that They have more endurance, more power, more, you know, after good stretching and, and regular stretching, and this is necessary or important. Um, but after some time I, I realized that uh, stretching is not only the one way what we can give to these people with yoga. But uh, uh, we started the breathing exercises and relaxation. And especially together they are very, very, very effective for sports people. <coughs> Um, breathing, uh, uh, relaxation, we know, and th this is utilized in sports in, in general. Uh, not everywhere, not always, but really it is a lack when it is not, uh, not in their training uh, regime. But uh, we somehow uh, started with the relaxation also to include in, into that program, and it was, it was basically good. Um, One in brackets, one you know uh, sentence just that uh, you know this this boy, the tennis player, he he is deaf. He can hear with equipment, but it is not the same quality as we we, we hear each other. The, like half of, of the sentences you can you can uh, hear. So 
when I uh, I was needing for him uh, relaxation, it is uh, you know not, not a usual way that uh, I sit beside and I have to shout almost <laughs> because because he cannot hear me. So it was some some uh, funny situation that uh, for relaxation you have to be calm and you know and slow and everything, but. Then I had to shout uh, that he, he can hear and fo uh, follow the, the instructions. Uh, with Eva, with the, the, the swimmer uh, girl, uh, it, was, it was no problem. She just took it normally, the relaxation techniques. And uh, the special, uh, special, really special and uh, uh, quite unusual part of, the, of our program was the breathing techniques. In New way they are called pranayam. And uh, this pranayam is uh, um, mostly to uh, recharge their system with oxygen. Uh, it has actually one main source, one, one main root, one main uh, cause why it is good. Because this oxygen, or it can be called uh, life energy, prana in, uh, in yoga, it is, uh, it is really the force of, of all metabolic uh, systems and and uh, um, all metabolic working in the cells, and uh, when they are really recharged, they can just run out of the world. Really, they, they are so fit and so good and uh, so effective. Uh, if there is other way around, if there is no oxygen, then then there is no uh, aerobic uh, way of uh, metabolism but uh, this anaerobic way and, and then you know what is happening then the acids are increasing increasing and they just stop in the middle of the field or in the middle of the pool or wherever they are so we started with, with these breathing techniques and it seems it is it was really really effective the program training program for Eva the swimmer it was uh, composed that that uh, starting on Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Till Friday, she got such a such a training that she was really really off. And then uh, sat, uh, Saturday one training, and uh, Saturday afternoon and Sunday it is the, the off. It is the recharging or regenerating uh, time. And uh, on one Friday we had yoga, little relaxation, and after ten minutes breathing, so not so much. And uh, after she came back and she said that I feel like on Mondays. It means that it was so effective that really after the training and heavy load after the whole week, she was so quickly regenerated that she said that subjectively she felt like on Monday. So it was really, it is such a key for sportsmen for, and for regeneration. Um, also there is another another uh, good uh, result with this breathing uh, technique and it was with the uh, with, uh, with this boy the tennis player and he uh, he he always had had uh, uh, on, on top work in, in their categories he was always the third or second never he was the, the first and uh, his problem was mainly that uh, when uh, he's in one match uh, in, in one match, uh, tennis match, he when he starts to lose the the balls, then he is you know in such a uh, bad uh, mood or not mood, but in in, in such a uh, resignation. resignation that that he cannot come out, and uh, that's why they call me basically. And uh, yes, we did this that stretching relaxation. And finally we found out that, that the breathing is the, the best. Uh, I tell you one, one example. Uh, when he, he, he could change his approach and his, his problem, this resignation problem, that he was in, in one match in, in uh, Germany and uh, he started very badly. It was 0-3 uh, to the opponent. And uh, from 0-3, you know, it is such a bad start that uh, normally, it, with his condition, he is just in and then he cannot come out. And uh, that time he could, because uh, uh, he started breathing. He said that he, he was starting uh, deep breathing, stomach breathing, what we learned before. And this is, this is good for two things. 
One is extra oxygen, it means good for muscles and brain and everything, for heart. And the second one is that he is deaf. And deaf people, especially, their problem is that they cannot hear normally or properly, and they are always observing somehow the, the, their surrounding. They are always out from their personality and, you know, their, where they are. And they are always somehow, and they have to tune on the other to, to observe what kind of signs coming in, to, to understand better communication. And when it is a, it is a uh, tennis match, this is the problem. When he is beating me and I am tuned on him, it means that I am constantly in the, in the loser position. So he, was, he started to observe his breathing, stomach breathing, extra oxygen, plus he is now with himself. So after 0, 3, it was 1, 3, and then second, 2, 3, and then 3, 3, and then 6, 3, and then 6, 0. So he was just washing away the opponent. It, it, it has such a, you can imagine what an effect he had. So uh, uh, this, this kind of, of uh, uh, breathing technique, it was not, nothing special actually. Just observe your breathing, what you are doing, and it is giving the self-confidence plus extra oxygen. And it is so much regenerating and such a focus it is giving that uh, he was really uh, he was the winner, and then he won the Olympic uh, Games also. And his his op opponent it was a French guy in the in the last round uh, for the first place. Uh, French guy was really really so, and, but he, he could beat him also. I, I so the, the if you have any questions, then it is shortly and ten minutes. <laughs> if you have any <laughs> questions, thank you. Thank you. Nějaká otázka, prosím vás. My profession basically is a psychologist. And uh, I'm a yoga teacher. And I'm even teaching future yoga teachers. So it is uh, for 20 years I'm doing this. And I have the practice plus psychology. So it is the field that is really fitting together. And it is very good for sports people. Did you work with sportsmen before, or was it the first time? Um, not, not really. They, uh, Eva was the first. He just uh, looked for some because he, she, she knew that all international sports people, they have more or less of, of all of them, they, they have some something to connect, some connection and practice with yoga, and that's why she was looking for for some some yoga, and it was accidentally they found us. And then we started, and uh, I, I, I like sports uh, very much since my childhood, though I'm not an active and, and not a uh, competitor, but uh, I like sports, and, and so, so this is how we started. And, and then the tennis player came next year, and uh, his uh, trainer found us, because he, he heard that, that I heard with the Deva, and we had a good result, and then, then they came. So this is the story. <laughs> Ještě nějaký dotaz? Ne? Thank you.